Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Win SCP FTP client. So this is a free download. It's a pretty powerful client. You can do all kinds of things with it. Uh, and it'll open up other sites besides FTP sites. So for example, if I go to a new session here and a new site, I could do SFTP, SCP, FTP, WebDAV, Amazon F3. And it's just a matter of putting in your host name, address, port number, name and password if you have one. You have some advanced options that you could do as well once you create the connection. And then all you got to do is choose your site and you can manage it. So let's say we have this test site here that I made. This is a free site you could actually go and play with. Uh, they give you an address and the uh, or host name and name and password. And then, you know, from there you could even open it in Putty, rename it, clone to a new site, make a desktop icon, and so on. So once you have your site configured, you click on Login. And so here's the root of the test site. So let's say I want to make a folder here, for example, play around here. And then you could set permissions, you know, as well for this folder if you need to. Okay, so there's my folder. So let's say I wanted to just dump some files over. Let's say bookmarks, Cisco letter, presentation. So you just Simply drag and drop them over there, and that's going to upload them to the site, just like that. And so once you're there, you have, you know, you could delete, check the properties, edit, download, make new folders and other kinds of files, do searches, refresh, go home, back and forward. And even on your local site here, you have options. If you want to check properties, go home, make new folders, delete, edit, upload, and so on. And then you have some synchronization options as well. So if you want to synchronize a local directory with a remote directory, or if you want to keep a remote de directory up to date. So let's say we want to do this uh, sound recordings folder. This has five files in it, and we want to keep this folder up to date with it. So let's say, okay, so you got it. There's our sound recordings folder at the source, and my test at the destination. Then you have your synchronized options to you know, delete files, update subdirectories. So let's click on start. And yes, we want to synchronize. Okay, so this is waiting for changes in one directory here. So now we have these five files here that we did, and they're over here as well. So let's say we want to, we deleted this one because it doesn't belong there. And now we want to synchronize it again or keep files up to date. Click on this again. Make sure, always make sure this picked the right folder because it's going to go on based on what you have selected over here. So if you're in a different directory and you try to uh, synchronize a different folder, you're going to be doing the wrong one here. Okay, so we're going to click on Start here. Actually, let's uh, click on the Delete Files option. Okay, so now you can see it synchronized it. So now we have the same files here. It deleted this one at the destination as well. So that's just one of the things you could do. You, know, you could even open terminals and Putty from here, go for all the preferences, for all kinds of stuff you could do too. So obviously I can't go over every little feature, so I just want to give you the quick overview. So I'll put a link in the description, and then you could download it yourself. And if you need to do any kind of you know, file transfer, you know, there's stuff like FileZilla, but I like this a lot better. It seems like it's easier to use, and it does a lot more. So give it a shot and see what you think. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>